The NHS is a team working together to improve people's health. If that's the case, why are we spending more time with computers than we spend with patients? Our focus is to stop wasting time on administrative tasks and use this time with patients. I'm Penelope, this is Joe, this is Vikas, and we're from the Worldwide team. And we created a smart job list that takes care of administrative tasks. And it's called Worldwide. Now the problem with current workflows is that 14% of time is spent on administrative tasks. Now in one year, this adds up to two and a half million pounds. The reason for this is that current workflows look like this. There's scribbled notes of papers, of paper that is passed around between um, doctors on the ward. Now I'm sure you've all read emails. You have to log in, you have to type in who you want to send it. You have to think of what you're gonna write. You send it and then you realize you forgot the subject line and you have to sit and send it again. Now this might only be a matter of a few minutes, but these few minutes add up when it's over all the doctors in the NHS, when it's um, over all the patients that we see. Now when we reduce these few minutes, in 14,175 more patients. So let's have a demo. Can, can you show the uh, back? Yeah, the, uh, the app. Uh, I'm going to quick talk. So you'll see in our back end. Uh, no, yeah, the back end. Yes. Sorry, the slash app. Slash app. Yes. Sorry. You'll see in our back end that we combined hospital data, uh, patient data, and the data of all the users in the ward. The goal is uh, allow the users to add a bunch of tasks. To uh, allow uh, doctors to during the ward runs and on the tracker, we will identify be automated. And when you have it, uh, and the entire process we we talk about. So if you hit order bloods, uh, we will show you sent with all that information. Um, do you want to show? You? Just very quickly to talk about the future. First, we'll make it a little bit more pretty. And this is an example of what it would look like coming up. We've, it would be verified first, so you can check the data is done before you send it to make sure we're not making any mistakes. Uh, we'd, next step would be to automate the patient entry at the start. You don't want to enter the patient information again at the start, so we could take that from EPR or use another capture technique such as OCR. Then we try and make it so that we can be in as many hospitals as possible to easy to configure those. Every hospital's got slightly different. And finally, we'll also make more jobs. Thank you very much. Well done. Any questions? I imagine some of this will involve people carrying a device with your program on it. Um, how are you going to ensure people can actually use it if there's terrible Wi-Fi in various hospitals or not a lot of connectivity in certain corners of, of wherever they're working. Yeah, I think for a lot of the tasks that we're automating, they require internet anyway. So if you were doing them manually, if you were sending an email, you'd have to have access to the internet to do that. So I don't think it's, yes, it's frustrating, but I don't think it's necessarily encountered, if that makes sense. And from a technology point of view, there is offline first, uh, or uh, technology we can use to support low uh, in internet disruption. Can I ask where the emails are going? Aren't there order comms in the hospitals for requesting these things? So it depends a lot on the hospital. For example, in my hospital, if you're ordering a blood test, you order it for EPR. If you're adding a test onto the blood that's already been taken, you send an email to the laboratory. So that would be an example of one of them. Um, a lot of referrals are done through email. So if you could do a pre-formatted email template with the patient information in that referral. That's just two examples, but it depend on. Thanks for clarifying that. I want to say we, we designed it so Joe can use it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> It's customized. Any other questions? Hi. Are these shared tasks, or if so, how do you ensure that you're not both working on the same task at the same time? Sign 
sounds like yours is not about tasks for the doctors to do, but for the doc doctors to give to other people or staff to give to other people. Is that correct? So yeah, it would be within a clinical team. So like all the doctors on one particular ward would use the same task list. Um, we skipped over it quite quickly, but on our user interface, you'd sort of say start the job, and that would say that that's then in progress. Um, and then you'd click the same button to say finish job after you've done it, so that everyone can have a sort of up to date record of what's going on and what's been done. Thank you. You can also um, allocate a job, so you see that I there's an icon on the um, so you can actually allocate that job to yourself or someone else, so then you know exactly who's working on it. Thank you. I forgot, to, I forgot to say, but the way that this is different from other similar programs that exist is that this is a bottom-up approach, so you don't have to fight like EPR and bureaucracy to make it work. You just have to convince one doctor that it's useful. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, we're all done. Well done. <laughs>